Hello and greetings. This is my COVID-19 world update for June 22nd, 2020. Hamsters with masks. I showed yesterday a chart that was similar to this. I, I went on to the Data Explorer at ourworldindata.com and created my own chart similar that has shows groupings. And you can see that uh, these countries in uh, Asia that are fairly well developed healthcare systems. Um, I, I guess I could agree that the Philippines and Thailand maybe probably have lower amounts of testing, so perhaps their numbers are a little bit questionable, but it's very difficult to question the numbers in South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan. Uh, those can be believed because their healthcare systems are very developed and their government uh, health services departments are well established and dependable. Um, the grouping at the top includes, though it's not, um, though it doesn't appear, um, the United States, uh, France, uh, you know, essentially the UK, all of those lines are in there even though it's only Belgium, Italy, Canada, and Norway that are labeled. So, you know, also well-developed uh, countries with good healthcare systems. Uh, and you can see that there's very clearly a separation, and, and I think you could call it a statistically um, significant separation. And uh, the reason why this, this slide was developed on the other site that I showed was essentially they're, they're thinking that this helps to prove that wearing masks in a society or the societal norm of wearing a mask in public uh, may be the thing that's making the difference here. Um, and I think that they may not be too far off. So today I'm going to discuss a uh, study that was done effectively to prove the hypothesis that um, wearing a surgical mask reduces the risk of non-contact transmission now, what they used for this study was um, hamsters. So, yeah, hamsters are not humans. Uh, that is true, but we're both mammals. Study done at Hong Kong University regarding uh, infection rate of hamsters that are kept in close proximity and uh, this shows the information on the study. Uh, there's a link at the top of this slide that shows you where you can go to read the study to get further information. Um, I do know some humans that I think are hamsters, but uh, they obviously have a big disguise on. So this is a picture of the setup of the test. You can see that they did it on the left on figure one, letter A. Uh, they did it in a big vented fume hood um, in order to make sure that they were containing the virus that's coming off of the hamsters that were infected so that no humans that work in the lab got the virus. In letter B, uh, it shows the way the test was set up where they had uh, hamsters that were infected on the left and hamsters that were uh, as yet clean, no disease on the right. And then letter C shows a circulation fan, which is that little cir circle there. And then how they set up the mask, where they would put a mask on a surface in order to um, put some sort of barrier between the infected hamsters and the uninfected hamsters. So this was experiment one. This was no mask between the two cages. So essentially they just had a cage with infected hamsters and uh, on the other side of a blower fan that blew from the cage with the infected hamsters into the cage, the uninfected hamsters. Um, they, would, they just left them there um, for five days and then they checked them. Sorry. Then experiment two, they put um, a surgical mask partition with 
the um, protective surface um, facing the clean or uninfected hamsters. And then with the fan on still, they check those uninfected hamsters at day five. We also check them at day seven too. And experiment three, they put the surgical mask in with the uh, effective surface facing the hamsters that had the disease. In other words, there it's, it's equivalent to test two being uh, the people who are trying to, or the hamsters who we are trying to avoid getting the disease wearing the masks. And then test three is the hamsters that have the disease wearing the masks. These are the results of what the ultimate transmission rate was between infected hamsters and the clean hamsters or the uninfected hamsters. So in the first test, during the five days with no mask in between the two and the airflow being from the hamster's cage that had, were infected to the uninfected hamster cage, the uh, percent infected in the test group was 66.7%, so two-thirds of the hamsters in the, that were uninfected at the beginning of the five days um, had the disease at the end of the five days, so 10 out of 15. And 10 out of 15 is a, is a fairly statistically significant um, uh, number, any number over six in your, in your group sizing, and, and you've got something to look at at the very least. Um, so, with the, the statistics then when you set up either way with the mask, just any mask in any situation, um, that, that percent is lowered to 25%. So that's a significant reduction, um, cutting it almost in a third, right, um, the rate of infection. Now, if the mask was uh, on the infected hamsters, in other words, if the mask faced so that it kept the particles from leaving the, the hamsters who were infected, the rate of infection went down to 12.5%. So a hugely significant reduction. In other words, if they put the mask on the uh, infected hamsters, at the end of the five days, only one out of eight of the clean hamsters actually got the infection. And if you put the mask on the clean hamsters, that rate goes up to three out of eight or 37.5. So what this test showed in the hamsters is that uh, with no mask, about two thirds uh, of the hamsters that are close enough for the particulates um, or aerosolized particles uh, will get infected. Any mask reduces that. If the infected person wears a mask, it reduces even further. Um, but mask on an uninfected hamster uh, did help. So all in all, as we have looked at the data from the hamster study, and then we look back at this slide, um, it really does seem to be come down to cultural norms. And if we can change our cultural norm and start wearing face coverings uh, in public, surgical masks are a little bit better than just any old face covering. But if people follow what the CDC has recommended with regard to face coverings, uh, it is my opinion that we will see significant reduction in transmission rates and perhaps uh, see an end to the uh, infection rate of more than one to one, which will start reducing the amount of um, infection in the population uh, over time, day to day. And that's what we need to see. So a guy walks into a movie theater and sits down in, in a seat and he hears a squeak and he looks down next to him and there's a hamster on the seat next to him. And, you know, just out loud he says, what the heck is the hamster doing here watching a movie? And the hamster says, well, I really like the book. Thank you for watching.
If you enjoyed this update, please subscribe. Uh, please wash your hands frequently with soap. Use uh, hand sanitizer and wear a face covering in public spaces. Tell your friends and loved ones to do the same. We're not wearing the mask for us. We're wearing a mask for them.